He brought sustained excellence to Louisville. He left this world today having coached countless people through more than just basketball. Former U of L basketball coach Denny Crum has died. The Hall of Fame coach passed away at his home this morning at the age of 86. Some of Coach Crum's former players say he was much more than just a coach on the court. They say he touched every aspect of their lives. Under Denny Crum's direction, they became champions on the court. With his guidance, they learned to navigate life. Robbie Valentine was a guard on the 1986 championship team. He came to UofL and found something he had been missing. Because I didn't have a dad, you know? I mean, you get on campus and there, there's a male role model that gives a damn about you. And he was that person. And there was a lot of African-Americans that Denny coached. And I tell you what, I don't know if a man uh, has treated me better in my life than, than coach. Described as a man who loved his players and loved Louisville, Denny Crum, above all, loved people and gave freely of his time. Wiley Brown, star forward on the 1980 championship team, took that lesson to heart at an early age, even if he was just giving autographs. He always would tell me, he said, Wiley, he said, when, the, when the, the, the time to worry about that is when people don't come up to you and ask you for those autographs and take those pictures. He said, why are they doing it? I'm going to enjoy it. And um, that's where I live my life. I, I'm a coach now. Uh, anybody, I don't care if they was born, anybody want to autograph a picture, I'm there for it. And he taught me that. It's almost cliche to talk about coaches as role models and teachers. His players know Crum was that and so much more. They were family, and that love will never die. It's surreal. We, we spent many a days at his house. It's like every, always on a Wednesday, right, Brown? Yeah, it's all on Wednesday, yep. And then last Wednesday that, you know, I was out there, I mean, <laughs> to see the smile on his face, uh, happy. Um, that's the memory I'm, I'm going to take with me throughout this. And it was Coach Kenny Payne, also on Crump's teams of the 80s, who today said, we must keep his memory alive.